Hey guys, uh, update in the workshop. We've got another trilogy Star Wars complete here. Uh, this one's for Alfred, and this is going over to USA, California. Uh, it's our Star Wars trilogy, and we're gonna go through some of the aspects on it. Um, I'm gonna talk about magnet buttons and the importance of magnet buttons on this machine as well. Uh, the first thing I'll do though is I'll go over it so you can have a nice close look at it. And I'm going to point out a few points on what to look for on pinball machines that you might not realise we do on our machines. Okay, so we'll go through the specs on this machine in front of you too. So it's the Extreme originally ordered, but he's upgraded quite a lot. On it, uh, we've got the addressable leads here, as you can see there, uh, with the matrix at the back. You'll see that in a bit of gameplay soon. So the addressable leads go up the side here, and it's nicely enclosed in an enclosure there that's uh, tinted as well. At the back, where the matrix is, we've got a nice six mil thick tinted piece of perspex over it as well. And of course you've got up the same up the side here. Okay, so what's running in this machine here is we're the only company commercially in Australia making virtual pinball machines with the high specs that we do. And we're running a ASUS monitor here and this ASUS monitor runs at 120 hertz. So it's running at 120 hertz. It's a 43 inch, 4K. And what comes with that is he's upgraded it to the 120 hertz monitor package. What's running inside this machine is a Ryzen 7 CPU, very powerful Ryzen 7. It's got the 2060 Super, overclocked eight gigabyte. Graphics card as well, so it's a very high spec graphics card. It's running 16 gigabyte of RAM as well. It's also running a solid state drive for the Windows system, one terabyte. And if you haven't checked it out, guys, check out the video on it. What makes our machine stand out from the rest? One of the main things is we have a reboot back to default on our machine. What does that mean, guys? It means that your DMDs don't disappear and get mucked up and you can't get them back. You don't get the back glass coming down on the play field. You don't get error messages coming up because the, the main core system, the C drive windows, is all locked down, protected to, for you for a reboot back to default. But that does not stop you saving your high scores to the F drive. We've broken it up in part partitions. The high scores save on a portion of the drive that is F, not on the C drive, the Windows drive. And we also have an E drive that you can have this exact system of nearly a thousand tables on here in Popper. You can add tables, so you can add your own tables to our machine, so there's no limitations. So if you haven't seen that video on YouTube, go and check that one out guys, how to add tables to your machine here. But it's fully locked down, bulletproof and can't be broken. Something else to mention on our machines, guys, is this got the eight times solenoids, mechanical feedback, as you'll see in there. It's also got switches to turn on the matrix, addressable LEDs on and off. You can just simply switch it on and off with the switch here. Also, your eight times solenoid, your stern shaker motor there, you can turn it on and off. We've got our tactile feedback system there. We've got controls there for your stern shaker motor, original stern shaker motor in our machines. Nothing but the best tech. We have plenty of ventilation and we have fans, three times fans running in the machine as well for cooling. What else does our machine come with that you won't find on most other machines commercially made out there? is we have our own volume controls on the machine. No plugging in keyboards, guys. You simply, the very bottom one here, 
You can just push it. And as you'll see, you can do a half mute if you have a look at that. Full volume, half. Now, that's really handy going through the menu system if you want to turn the sound down a bit as you scroll through the left and right flippers. You can just do a half mute and when you go back onto the game, you can just simply press the bottom button, turn the sound up. Now, what you can also do is press the magna, the right magna, and then the bottom button. And what that does is it fully mutes it. If you have a look at this, I'll just unmute it. You can fully mute the music. So if you want to play the machine completely quiet at night, you don't want to disturb the wife or the kids, early hours of the morning, you can turn off your solenoids, you can turn them on and off, you can turn off your sound, you can turn off your feedback system, and you can play it completely silent as well. I'll just turn that back on. So that's another big feature on our machines, and we also have two buttons hidden underneath here, and it's your volume up and down. So each table you can turn it up and down, if you have a look at that. Turn it right down to nothing. And what it actually does is it saves it in the F drive as well, same place as your high scores. And you can set the volume on individual tables. So there's like hundreds of tables in here, you can individually set the volume to each table and it will save that volume next time you go on it, to all different volumes. You can also adjust your feedback by pressing your left flipper, pushing the button. You can also adjust your feedback, tactile feedback system up and down as well for less or more feeling of the vibrations through the machine. So that's another thing to look out for guys on our machines. No one else does it we can commercially. We're the only ones. We have the lockdown, bulletproof, Reboot back to default, doesn't stop you saving high scores, doesn't stop you adding tables to your machine. Okay, so like I say, we've, we're the only manufacturer commercially who does the Matrix Lighting, the addressable LED. We're going to do a little bit of gameplay and something I really want to cover when I come back is the magnet button. What is a magnet button? You've got your flipper and then you've got your, your right and your left magnet button. And I'm going to explain why they are so important and what they do. I'm going to bring up on the back box here a dock sheet that you'll find on the machine explaining what magnet buttons and what games they work in and how very important they are. Not just in gameplay, but also in your menu systems. And if you've been watching my videos lately, you'll see that we've now introduced VR virtual reality into our worlds. Now without these magnet buttons, you would not be able to control and go through the menu system very well at all. So we're gonna cover what our magnet buttons on our machines do and why they're there. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna talk about magnet buttons. So like I say, you got your magnet button, your right one just under the flipper here. And on the other side, you have your magnet button on the left. And what's important about them, we're going to start off, it's not just gameplay, it's also in the menu. So when you go through the menu, you can use your left and right flippers. Now you can go quicker by pressing the right magnet here. But what you'll see with our addressable leads too, is when you go through the menu quicker, you'll see a nice shoot of green going down both sides. And what we need to do is go into a wheel, like favourites, and as you go through individual tables, now if you don't have these magnet buttons, what you'll see is I'm an A. <coughs> Excuse me. If I press the right magnet here, what you do is you shoot through the letters to B, to C. So you can go through quicker, to D, to E, to F. If we go the other side, we go back. So now we can press the right magnet, the left magnet, sorry, and we'll go back. E, D, C, B, etc. So you can go backwards and forwards quicker by having your magnet buttons in the menu system. Now, if you didn't have them, 
It's going to take you a long time, one table at a time, to go through 600 and something tables on, on the bigger wheels. So you need to be able to have your magnet buttons. If you don't have them, what you'd have to do is you'd probably have to program it to, say, your coin button or, or your player one start button. And it wouldn't be as easy as when you've got your hand on the side here, and you're going through, and I want to skip quicker, bang, 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 one table at a time, skip to a letter, bang, 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 through the tables. So, you really need it for the menu system on the popper system here, and of course our VR system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out because that's just on the menus, and it makes life so much easier navigating through a menu system, but if we exit out, what we also have on our machines is we have instruction and docks, and you go on this one up here, help and utilities. And you'll see instructions, and I'm gonna put this one up here. This is a full guide. So if you go up to the back glass, get my mouse up there so I can move it. What you'll get up here is full instructions on how our machine works. And you can actually go over to the side here, and up to the corner here, as well through the pages. But we'll just scroll through. So we've got full instructions. These instructions come with paperwork when you first get your machine, but they're also on the machine, on the protected system as well, so you will never lose them. If you ever lose the paperwork, it's on the machine, on the C drive, fully protected, and you will never accidentally be able to delete it or lose them. I'll just click that one off. But what I want to talk about is the magna save function. We've got a dock here as well, and we've written this up on every game that uses magna save buttons on our machines here. And what they do, so you've got ACDC with a fire button, right magna, we've also put it onto the lock bar fire button now. You would have noticed down here recently we've changed to the fire select punch it button. So ACDC, if you get the cannon shot, you can it only works on around about four or five games as far as that goes. So the magnet buttons themselves, if you go through Black Knight uses the Magna Save, Black Knight 2000, Magna Save right only. It's, it tells you what it does. Black Rose Fire button right only. Black Water button move, flash and selection, lower start gate. Yeah, so you can read through all this. Demolition Man, move crane left and right. So the magnet buttons have all these functions. Now without them, you're not going to be able to play all these games correctly. You must, and it's a must have. Uh, ACDC, for an example, you can go through and pick different music as well. So you can go right through all these and it names every game that uses the magnet buttons on every game that's on the machine. And what it does. So that docks on here for you to read through and understand what your magnet buttons are used for. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna show this one game as an example of your magnet save and how, if you didn't have your magnet save buttons, you would not be able to play the game properly at all. So what I'll do, I'll turn the lights out and we'll load the game. Okay, take note of the matrix lighting as well while we're doing this, but in burning rubber, so I'm gonna go inside burning rubber. And it's this one here, the getaway. We'll load this game. Now this game uses the magnet button on the left magnet button to shift the gear sticks. Now without it, you can't change through the gear shifts. So as you'll see, what will come up on the matrix, you'll see shift. See that shift? Without the magna save button on the left there, you can't, you can't change the gear. Just get it going. Okay, so you see it's going shift. I'm gonna press the magna button. I just change the gear, and away I go. Now, I'll just 
just hold that there. If we go up to the back box, on the back glass here to the right where the gears are, what you'll see is it's on gear one. Now, when we get the gear shift changed, what we'll do is we'll shift it with the magnet button. So when we get it to come up with shift and we'll change it into gear two. Like I say, without the magnet button, you wouldn't be able to do this. in the shift gear. Yeah, so like I say, it's very important to have magnet buttons. And what I'm doing is I just half muted it while I'm talking, and I could fully put the sound back up by simply just pressing the button. Shift again, press your left magnet, put it into gear one. Push it again, I'm in third gear now. So you're probably thinking to yourself watching that, that is absolutely awesome, and it is. Without magnet buttons, you cannot play these games correctly. And as you can see, it's very important in games, it's important for menu systems. And as you can see, our matrix, lighting, addressable LEDs in the game is absolutely fantastic on our machine. So like I say guys, commercially, we've got the best machines commercially here in Australia. It's why people in America like Alfred here are buying machines off us. Our tech inside, 120 hertz monitors. There's another thing to mention, guys, on our machines is we use monitors, 32-inch LG monitor. Now, what does that mean? And it mightn't seem like something you'd think about, but what happens is if you use a TV screen in the back there, you've got to have a hole for a sensor and use a TV remote to turn the back screen on, not with ours because it's an LG monitor. Same with down here, the score is also a monitor and a 120 hertz ASUS monitor. All you have to do is you don't have to get a TV control out and point at the sensor to turn the bottom play field on. You don't have to get a second remote out to turn on the back glass. You simply just push the button under the machine and everything just fires up and turns on. So like I say, we've got the most advanced machines are commercially available here in Australia. It's why we're becoming very popular overseas, especially in America, as people are taking notice of what we're doing. We're coming up with, we're really setting the standard, the benchmark on machines. We're always thinking outside the box. This week we've added VR to it. We've got a really cool video coming up very soon as well over the weekend, or probably tomorrow, of playing VR pinball straight off our gaming cabinets. We released the Boss machine back on the market. You can also, will be able to play VR off those machines, pinball. On the system, we're gonna go through and cover all that. And we've got a big video coming tomorrow too, as we've started a whole heap of arcades and we've got another extreme premium model Jurassic Park pinball cabinets we're gonna show off tomorrow that we've been building. So watch out for that video too. But anyway, that's the update, guys. The most advanced pinball machines, gaming cabinets, arcade machines on the market here by Extreme Gaming Cabinets in Australia. Check out our, all our specs. 
go to our website, check out our frequently asked questions, very detailed on our frequently asked questions in, inside our adverts. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I taught you something about magnet buttons, why they are so important on machines. And don't forget guys, we have a reboot back to default. No asking us to dial your machine to fix it. We don't get phone calls by people asking to fix their machines because of the reboot back to default. Doesn't stop you save in high scores. Doesn't stop you adding games, tables to your machine. So check that video out as well. It's very educational on how our machine, our system works. Most advanced systems, on our pinball machines in the world. And thanks for watching.